Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shad Bashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, a great man known, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And I say uh, shalom to your Akim out there. And this is a sit down lesson. On this uh, January the 14th, Friday, 2022. And I'm about to bring this uh, news article out on this sit down lesson. Uh, this is from Associated Press and this is from uh, MSN.com. And the highlight of this news article says a uh, sweet step up military con contingency over Russia activity and it says uh, a top military chief in Sweden said Friday that there there is increased Russian activity in the ballistic sea which devalued from the normal picture it says leading the Scandinavia nation's military to, ride, to raise its preparedness. It says, uh, we have decided to reposition our troops. It does not have to mean an increased threat, but we are always one to adapt the pre prevailing situation. The Lieutenant General Leif Michael Ali's son told the uh, Associated Press it says uh, Sweden which is not, not part of the NATO has among other things noticed a number of landing crafts from Russia's North Navy which have been entering the ballistic sea uh, Clay's Clay's son who is the upper manager at the Swedish Army Force said that some of the measures taken by the Swedish, Swedish military will be visible and others will not be. He says we will act differently in locations in Sweden in different matters, he said, adding that would be visible on the uh, Skratikul Strategically important ballistic sea island in the Gotland that is, I mean, that sits a little more than 300 kilometers of 186 miles from the Russian ballistic sea exclave of Kalin Kalin Gray. Well, if I pronounce that right. It says on Thursday, in guard platoon was seen uh, walking in the harbor of the island's main town, Visby, as a part of the other parts in the airport. We will operate in the air at sea below the surface at on the ground, different ways in different geographical locations, he said. Early this week, uh, Majority General Lena Holling, head of Sweden's military intelligence, must say that we are far from a normal situation for Swedish security today. It says, for some time, developments has been moving in the, in the direction, direction of a serious security policy crisis in Europe. And it has accelerated in recent months, Holland said. It is an illusion that tensions in Europe will be temporary. It says she said that Russia's main objective are regime stability and strengthening its position as a major power. Preventing NATO enlargement and 
the vanks, vank, vanquity of Russia is a top priority in it. And this is being look a very long term. So, yeah, I guess, you know, they keeping an eye on the situation of uh, the Russian activity. Because, you know, you're already at uh, activity in an ongoing situation with the Ukraine border situation. You know, with an ongoing discussion between, you know, the United States and the EU. Back, uh, the, you know, the EU, the NATO, the NATO, the seven European countries is back allies with uh, Ukraine, you know. They fully support them just in case of, you know, uh, of a possible continue of a Russian military buildup. And you already got uh, Russia uh, back ally separatist groups. And you already got uh, some U.S. troops already deployed over there as well, too. So, you know, that's already an ongoing situation. Now you got this situation right here, you know, you know, uh, Swedish the Swedish military, you know, they keeping an eye on uh, Russia. It's just a case of uh, any activities, you know. Because you said, even though he, uh, the general, they were stating, said this might be a, a long-term thing. So, you know, they're keeping their eye out on, on this, this as well, too. You know, I'm going to bring out a scripture for this. This is the book of Revelations, because you know we are definitely living in the. We are definitely living in the book of Revelation. That's definitely for sure. Especially the increase of, uh, you know, all these major different things been going on so far in the past two weeks, in the year 2022. You know, and this is the book of Revelations, chapter 11, verse 14, and it reads. The second world was passed, and behold, the third world coming quickly. Right? Because, you know, uh, third world war was definitely coming. And, you know, you, you seeing the increase that in the everyday news, you know, in the news media outlet, you know, uh, the news around the world. Yeah, you're hearing these continually increase on an everyday basis in the news of, uh, Wars and rumors of wars, you know, between these uh, nations, you know, and these rumors are definitely starting to show that it's starting to, you know, become a reality, you know, because you see with the uh, ongoing situation with uh, Russia and Ukraine and EU, you know, and you got, uh, you know, North Korea keep on firing their ballistic nuclear missiles. You know, in the United States, keep on putting uh, sanctions on them. You know, and they warning them to put economic sanctions on them so they can stop. Keep on firing their uh, ballistic nuclear missiles. You know, as they show their military strength and might. As Kim Jong Un made that statement in the year of January first, twenty twenty two, that he is going to step up his military presence. You know, and let it be known. You know, then you got the situation with Iran. You know, they still want revenge of their top general that got killed in the airstrike, I believe, two years ago of 2020. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of many different stuff that's going on. You know, we are living on, you know, we are living in biblical prophecy times, you know. That's why has this uh, increase. You know, that's why it's an increase in buildup of uh, World War Three. you know. Then, like, I just read that story uh, of this article that I brought out, you know, uh, uh, the Swedish military, you know, over there in the Ballistic Sea, I believe. You know, Russia been doing a lot of activity on there, over there. So, you know, uh, you know, Sweden, you know, which they not not part of the uh, NATO EU, seven countries, but you know they are keeping an eye, a close eye on Russia and their military, you know, 
just anything goes down, you know. So I switch as military. We got that eye on Russia as well, too, because they see it's a lot of military build up, you know. So, you know, a lot of many different things that's going on that's biblical prophecy, because, you know, like the scripture says, uh, in the last days, there should be perilous times, and we are definitely seeing that, you know. In the last days that we are living in, I'm going to read again for edification's sake. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 14, it reads, And the second woe is past, and behold, the third woe coming quickly, right? The third woe is coming quickly, and we are seeing the signs of that. Because, you know, this is the year of uh, 2022 of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. It's stirring things up and turning things up as well, too, you know. It's like the uh, nations that rise against nations. You're starting to see more increase of that. You're starting to see more of the uh, MOTB, you know, which is uh, the hour temptation where you got to uh, buy or sell. That's coming to tuition as well, too. And on the top of that, the uproars of the people, you're seeing that as well, too. So, you know, uh, a lot of many different things is going on. You're seeing in this biblical prophecies, you know. And uh, so with that, I hope this uh, video of this uh, sit-down lesson, of this news article that I just brought out, I hope this was uh, edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh, And first and foremost, let it give all praise and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, or Karkadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, of great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And once again, shalom on to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shalom.